going to mug me? I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. I am a terrible decorator. This bedroom is just waiting for something exciting to happen. Like adding a color other than white? Yeah, the fabric looks nice. I think it's delightful to finally come across a couple of clients who aren't terrified of florals. You wouldn't see stains on it. Not everyone wants a pattern for the right reasons. We certainly did not choose that floral so that it would hide stains. Want to add character and sophistication to a boring bedroom? We'll show you how right now. Great design comes from a winning formula. Mine is as basic as a set of building blocks. Put them together, add up the results, and you've got a sensational room. Does your bedroom lack pizzazz? I feel like I'm 20 years old and I'm living in my first apartment. We don't have really any nice furniture, and what we do have in the bedroom has just been sort of the things we've picked up. What's the difference between a hand-me-down sofa and red wine? Well, red wine gets better with age, Tommy likes it, and it actually has some color. This room is rich in architectural detail and features. Yes, and it's poor in color scheme. It's very what? It's well, like a cloud. Most people really love the sort of white on white on white serenity factor. I actually don't. I think it's a bit boring. I am a terrible decorator. I think that used to be the living room love seat. Yeah. I think this, I can't tell. Maybe it's from a hunting trip. The dresser was clearly not bought for this room. Rob and I have lived in this house for one year. There's nothing in there that says who we are. There is a lot of paneling in here. I think when you've got a room that is this customized, yeah. it kind of requires custom solutions, right? Sure. I mean, Beginning with the fact that a picture is not a headboard. I would say that we need uh, curtains that really block all light. I don't want to insult these drapes. I'll insult them. Well, they are kind of boring. And so is this dressing room. It comes complete with a sink and a ton of closet space, but you can see it from the bedroom. So I think we better bring it up to snuff, too. We need to give this room a lift. We need to take it a little bit more upscale to go with the architecture, the surroundings, the quality of the house. Definitely, I would love to have a private little sanctuary where I can go and I can be Jamie as opposed to Mom. So shall we get the toys out of the bedroom? I think this room needs to have some coziness, some warmth. OK. How about some color? Color. Here I go. Let's find color. So our creative brief for this space is to turn up the wow and turn down the boring by adding color and pattern. Then we need to amp up the sophistication with furnishings that work in a traditional space, and then come up with window treatments that will allow them to get some sleep. Color me inspired, okay? We have a decent budget, a really nice house, a beautiful room with great architecture, and we get to decorate with lovely things. I'm a little bit happy right now. I think we need dramatic change. Like, I want to paint those walls dark. So do I. Perfect. I think it's a nighttime room. I actually see Chinese lacquer in this kind of space mixed with mahogany furniture. It's a bit awkward in the layout. We're kind of limited by the number of doors, the number of windows, and the wall spaces available. So our furniture placement isn't going to change dramatically, but no. what can change dramatically is the look and feel of what we create. Yes, that is true. Are we headed to your house? Because if so, there was a bottle of wine that I saw in your fridge the other day that looked really good to me. Oh, yeah? Wine is not a jumping off point, at least not on a decorating project. Fabric, on the other hand. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty, not the direction we were thinking, hey? <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of fun. Like if you wanted that hit of blue. I just don't know that that's the blue that I saw. Wow. That's really pretty. What's interesting is you've got this whole range of grays. If we did something like this, would you extrapolate the entire color scheme from here in terms of wall colors? Why not? Because this navy, this smoky navy, is one of my favorite, favorite colors. Right. And I actually think it's extremely restful for a bedroom. I'm not 100% sure that this is the one. I think we should keep looking. You know, sometimes you find the right thing right off the top. I think it's the first one. I'm getting dizzy. No, 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 no. I'm into another room now. 
Can, how can you see these? You see, you can't, because you're sitting down on the job. No, I can see them. No, 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 no. Is it no. just me, no. or are you getting no. the feeling Tommy no. liked the first one no. best? You always thought he was charming. You see what I have to put up with every day? So we'll go with it. A dark, sophisticated floral for a nighttime bedroom. Next up, throw some color on the wall and see what sticks. This one on the end looks like zombie flesh. What's I thinking wearing white today? The top one is totally purple. I know. It looks like grapes. I don't get it. Oh my god. It's on my boot. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can get a good idea for the color from what you've already done. What have we got here? Well, these are our options. This is too purple. Way too purple. This is too purpley gray. Mm -hmm. This looks like army fatigues to me. And I kind of wanted smoky, not barracks. And then these both seem sort of, they're just sort of gray green. From the paint chip to the paint swatch on the wall, mm -hmm. there's often a bit of a difference, which is why we do this. And I don't know that we've got the right thing here. I think it's, it's good to sample and then we'll resample. Right. We started with white and chose a bold jumping off fabric. That's pretty. And we thought this was our paint, but turns out it ain't. Anyone need a quart of paint? We've got five. Jamie isn't satisfied in the bedroom. You know, I'd like to do something that's more adventurous, something a little bit more grown up. So Tommy and I are here to help. I think we need dramatic change. And while the fabric is dramatic, so far our paint is just drama. Oh my god, it's on my boot. If you're trying to help narrow your selection and ensure that you get the right color right out of the gate, I might suggest you look at the big fan deck. By seeing the colors from dark to light, you get a better read on what the undertone of that color actually is. Some grays can be bluey, some can be greeny, some can be purpley or brown. What I'm looking for is just really mid-tone gray. Now, for the trim and the paneling below our darker upper color, I'm just gonna go two shades lighter. That way we get the same tone, but we'll have a lighter effect. We'll accent it with a little bit of blue on the ceiling, and I think these colors are gonna work. These colors are exactly what we're looking for. So much better than those colors. Color, check. But we're going to need some furniture in the room, too. I want to create a seating area under the window with a pair of custom chairs, and we'll upholster those in our jumping off floral. Next, we need a headboard. If we go with a dark, smoky wall color, we can't very well choose a dark, smoky velvet, or no. you're gonna not be able to see the headboard against the wall. I'd rather have a lighter, neutral headboard because it's a bit more versatile. You that's want, lovely. That's what you want? You want a white headboard. That's very pretty. Did you win something? I won. Since you arrived, what have you won? <laughs> I won... Um, she won pick of the headboard. Miss... <laughs> Miss Headboard. Miss That's Miller a dubious headboard. title. Okay, we've got velvet for the headboard. Here's an interesting question about drapes. A linen stripe? 25... what? I just think that some people would think there was no such thing, but to us, we're like wrapped. Yeah. We're like, ooh, an interesting question about drapes. <laughs> $25 a yard for linen? Yeah. $29 a yard for 100% silk. Silk, please. Then we've got Roman blinds. Wait, Roman's where? On one side of the room, there's a rat, so the drapes are tricky to close. We're going to get Roman blinds in as well to make sure the room is nice and dark for sleeping. Oh, Layer. Look good. Layer for yep. some looks. Okay. I like that. Okay. Then some accents. Yep. Maybe something embroidered some linen, zigzag. We'll use these fabrics in small doses on pillows, while the other fabrics go on the big ticket items. If you're doing a kitchen or bath, it's all about tiling and cabinetry. Whereas with a bedroom, it's all about mixing sumptuous fabrics with some classic furniture finds. Could we use a console? Oh, you see, now you look like you're gonna serve catering. something. Catering? <laughs> you're actually in a catering outfit. You've got the black vest and the white shirt on. <laughs> you get back here. Okay, well, what we're offering today is a console. Yeah. What the room is currently lacking is any character, any presence, any authenticity. But this is a really good piece of furniture. And we have so much built in that the one or two items that we buy, which is probably gonna be this thing 
and the night tables should be pretty good. And a little bit of presence. I mean, look at this leg, right? This Beautiful. is cool. It's got the shapely leg with the hairy paw foot on this great rounded, what's that called? Plinth. Plinth. Love that. And Tommy and Michael may have just found the perfect rug. You could make this work because we've got our gray, we've got our cream, we've got our blue. And I like the idea of a stripe to balance off, you know, a more floral feminine fabric too. $697.50. Oh That's amazing for that much rug. This is nine by 12. We have a rug. And remember that dressing room tucked behind the bedroom? Well, we're going to freshen it up too. And the first step is to replace this dated icky wallpaper. Maybe since we have a strong floral in our fabric, we can't really have another strong floral element in our wallpaper. I think so. I think that's a nice stripe because it's a little bit different. I love the metallic versions, the ones that have the gold and the silver bits. The three color effect is good. Well, stripes it is. And the little hit of metallic will give us a hint of the luxury we're trying to add to this bedroom. I love it. I think it's beautiful. The wallpaper looks a little formal for my taste. His house is a bit formal, so the house dictates the wallpaper. It doesn't seem like uh, that relaxing of a pattern for a bedroom. Oh, if he thinks those stripes have too much going on, we may be in trouble when he sees what we have in mind for the fabric. This fabric has a lot going on, but it's not overwhelming. Yay, Jamie! Yeah, the fabric looks nice. I think it's delightful to finally come across a couple of clients who aren't terrified of florals. You wouldn't see stains on it. We certainly did not choose that floral so that it would hide stains. We chose the floral because it's beautiful and it's the right kind of luxury, not because kids will be crawling all over it or barfing or pooping on it, okay? Rob and Jamie's bedroom is kind of plain. This bedroom is just waiting for something exciting to happen. So we're adding exciting fabrics. Wow. Furniture. Well, this is a really good piece of furniture. And paint. Major improvement. Thank you. Oh, these are pretty lamps. I just don't think I did do anything that diminutive beside a king size bed. You That's a queen volume. size. Yeah. That's, That's a, a queen size lamp? Queen size lamp. Those are pretty. Nice roomy drawers. Do you worry at all about the black against a dark wall color? I don't. Really, I love the fact that there's this almost antique reference to some of our other vintage elements, and right. yet this is a fairly modern, nice, substantial silhouette. Oh, those are nice. I think these are stunning. That's king size to you, is it? Marbleized ceramic, circa 1950s. So they're from the same era as our first option for chests of drawers. I think they're stunning. I feel a little bit like your assistant today. More tables. Yeah, well, more chests. Different color, though. So I find the tone is a bit orangey. We could get that altered. Right. Are they too wide? They're two inches wider than the first pair. I'd say we have two strong options at this point. Let's check on dimensions and see which one works best. OK. There's that desk. Sarah loves this desk. I love this desk. It's on sale. It was 1895. Now it's 950. Oh, For Jamie's bedroom, this price. fits in the alcove, fits within our budget. And with our black bedsides? We're getting it. Meanwhile, back at Rob and Jamie's, the window treatments are going up, which means we need a solution for how to treat the walls. Okay. All set. I don't think we want to find anything that's much bigger than this. Could be a little bit bigger. But we're looking for prints that are going to be either black and white and kind of soft, or in keeping with the color scheme of the room, like this one. Totally. That will fit within our panels in the bedroom. Ali found those when we were sourcing. What I thought we could do is with our twin book towers, right. if we took out the top shelf, we'd have a lovely little recessed alcove for something sure. just this shape. These are floor tile patterns from the 1700s. I like these not because we're looking to install a patterned floor, but just for the way they look from a distance. What's amazing about them is that they have such graphic presence that they almost look modern. They and yet, do. they are from the 1700s. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I think that's great value. 
and I think that they'll look terrific. If you've got a room that adjoins to your master bedroom, it's an asset. However, you need to make sure that they connect visually. So we decided to make just a few simple changes. We wallpapered the wall to tie into our scheme in the master bedroom. We repainted just the drawer fronts on the vanity, changed the marble top, added a new faucet, lights, and mirror, and all of a sudden, voila, without renovating, we've revamped, reinvigorated, and connected this little dressing room to the beautiful master bedroom next door. And now it's time to fill up that beautiful master bedroom with all our finds. Oh, hello, and thank you. What have you brought me today? Presents, presents. Lovely, lovely. I like that truck. That truck opens, and I get all excited about what's what? inside. Oh, that's big. That's a big. It goes right there, guys. Right there? Yeah. Country Empire. That can probably go just there, guys, because we still have to get the headboard up and over. Yeah. There, perfect. I'm not waiting one more moment to find this answer out. You there? You have an inch. Remember this? Let's check on dimensions and see which one works best. OK. This one may not be the best after all. When you're measuring, what you need to do is you always need to take a wall measurement between the outside edges of the trim because technically that's all the wall space that you have available to work with. If you actually take the measurement to the inside of the frame, you're just gonna run into a problem. Sort of like this one. Our bedside tables are too wide and we are finding out during the load-in. Okay, so the linen covered pair is probably too low and the other ones are too expensive. We don't have $2,700. We might have to have $2,700. We'll see what else is out there. We could be going back there. Strike two. There. Strike three. How many strikes do we get? As many as we need. Strike four. Strike four. Well, let's just hope there's a light at the end of this tunnel. We are taking this bedroom from bland to beautiful. Lovely. By adding color, pattern, and traditional furnishings. But there's one tradition we overlooked, measuring. Are you looking to build a room off some beautiful black night tables? Have I got a deal for you. Now we just need to find a deal for ourselves. How do you feel about this? 24 inches wide. Okay. 29 inches high, and they're $629. Well, that's half the, the price. right size, the right color for the right money. We should have come here first. Now we've got the final piece of the puzzle. We just have to get it back to Jamie and Rob's, and you can take a look. This is a decorating story. You don't have to renovate to have a beautiful space. It's really important to make the best of what you've got. Try painting and decorating first before you start ripping out or reconfiguring. This looks like a presidential suite in a very fancy hotel. We couldn't be happier with room. The most fun thing to do for clients who've been living in a stark white box is to go with something almost the complete opposite of that. The floral pattern actually worked out really well. What's the rule for mixing different wood tones? My rule is repeat. Here's what you do. You start with black side tables, you add a black desk and a black bench. You start with a wood console, you add a wood side table and a wood ottoman in the exact same finish. And that way, it all goes together. My favorite part of the room are the window coverings. We've layered a two-part window treatment. We have a sheer cotton with a block printed motif in it, and then we have a bold wide tent stripe on the drapes. We don't want to layer more floral on top of floral, but we do like to kind of step back and choose more restrained patterns to complement the floral. I really like the artwork. There's something very disciplined about using engravings in a room like this because they're not competing at all with our florals or with our color scheme. They're just a very stately and simple statement in art. We chose to go with a very plush and curvilinear headboard as a stark contrast to the very sharp and rectilinear paneling that covers the walls. 
Think about how to maximize your bedroom so you get as many functions out of it as possible. If you have enough space, create a proper designated seating area. Create a proper desk area if you can. It allows you to get the most out of your room. Lots of old buildings have this kind of architectural molding on the walls. And when we're addressing that kind of a space, we have to be very cognizant of when to stop. If you take every single little detail and paint it a different color, suddenly you've got a whole lot going on and too much going on. When you've got a wall of bookshelves, you need to think about how you can make them come to life. We decided to highlight the back of the bookshelves in the darker color, so it creates an accent. Then we chose to put a piece of art on the upper section, some decorative accessories, a small TV, and some books. In the space that used to be designated for the TV, we've now created a little dressing area vignette. It looks amazing. That's actually my makeup table now, so that's really nice. <laughs> We didn't just create a grown-up bedroom, we created a bedroom that is luxurious, textural, soothing, cozy, moody, and I hope romantic as well. I think it's a beautiful bedroom. I think everybody deserves to have their own space. And my advice to Jamie and Rob would be, enjoy your life with your kids, enjoy the love of your children, and the rest of the house. Tommy can't bear the idea of kids being in this space, <laughs> but they're not going to wreck it. Everything's practical. It's so nice to just go in there and escape the rest of the house and all the clutter and all the toys and all the craziness, and everything feels very much like we're grown-ups and we have a nice bedroom that we can live in. What about a creamy Ooh, velvet, like blue. a white velvet? Do we have anything in that world? It's, what's your hand on there, Sarah? My hand is actually resting on some creamy velvet. Yeah, I wondered if it's hot. Could you ever upholster in a tussa silk or is it too thin? Too thin. A bit thin. Here's a trick for you. If you hold a fabric up and you can see the light shining through it, mm -hmm. it's not really suited to upholstery. All right. Like this. You see this? Or, fat, or a wall. blouse without a camisole. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> 